Welcome to the next installment of my video lecture series in economics. And in this particular video lecture series, I'm going to be taking a look at constant versus increasing opportunity cost and using the production possibilities frontier as a vehicle uh, to show you the difference between these two. The reason why I'm making this video, again, as I probably say in all my videos, is that this is something that students oftentimes get confused understanding the difference of uh, the assumption of constant versus increasing opportunity cost and how that assumption impacts the shape of the production possibilities frontier. So as always I like to give appropriate attribution if I provide any quotations, uh, any quotes in this particular video and presentation. I think in this video I do not have any of these but I still like to make sure that I uh, provide the appropriate attribution in the case that I do so. So we're going to start off by showing you what a production possibilities frontier looks like that has constant opportunity cost and just go through a few examples as to how you can make this determination. So here we have the production possibilities frontier of Mo and if Mo spends all of his time making pizza he can make 10 pizzas in a given day and if he spends all of his time uh, producing beer, he can produce five beers in, uh, in a given day. So I'm just illustrating this from the two extreme points of either exclusively producing pizza or exclusively producing beer. But every point along the production possibilities frontier are levels of output that are uh, attainable for Mo to produce if he's using all of his resources efficiently. So in order to illustrate this, let's make the assumption that Mo is spending all of his time producing pizza, so he's producing 10 pizzas and zero beers, and Mo decides that he no longer wants to do that. He wants to produce one beer uh, instead of producing no beers and see how that impacts pizza production. So in order to increase beer production by one unit, that automatically entails a trade-off, that those resources are going towards beer production, and some resources are not going to be used towards pizza production, so pizza production is going to fall. So as you can see here, that when Mo increases pizza production, I'm, I'm sorry, beer production from zero to one units, pizza production falls from 10 to 8. So the opportunity cost of producing the one beer is going to be the loss of two pizzas in the production process. We can continue this along and let's say Mo decides that's not appropriate. He doesn't want to produce one beer and eight pizzas. He wants to produce another beer. He wants to produce a second beer. What's going to be the opportunity cost of that second beer? So if he moves to the production of a second beer, and we move from two beers up to the production possibilities frontier and across, he can produce six pizzas. So by increasing beer production by one unit, again you can see the opportunity cost of producing that second beer is the loss of two pizzas. And I will provide one more example for this to show you now that maybe Mo wants to produce three beers instead of two beers, what's going to be the impact on pizza production? So if he increases beer production to three units, we follow that up to the production possibilities frontier, and that causes production to fall to four. So when he increases beer production by one unit, you can see, again, the opportunity cost of producing that third beer is two pizzas. So you can see here that every single time Mo increases beer production by one unit. The opportunity cost in terms of pizza is equal to two. So that is what is meant by constant opportunity cost. Every time you increase production of beer, in the case of Mo here, by one unit, pizza production falls by two units. So the opportunity cost of increasing production of beer by one unit is equal to two all along the production possibilities frontier. So as you can see here, a production possibilities frontier that exhibits constant opportunity cost is a straight line. And the slope of the production possibilities frontier measures the opportunity cost of production. 
So because this is a straight line, the slope is constant. Therefore, the, the opportunity cost of uh, pizza when increasing beer production is constant at negative 2. So make sure you remember that if you're asked to do something graphically that shows a PPF that exhibits constant opportunity cost, you have a straight line and this indicates, a straight line indicates a constant slope. So the opportunity cost is constant along a straight line. Now to contrast this, let's take a look at a PPF that exhibits increasing opportunity cost. As you can see here, in contrast to the previous PPF, where we had a straight line connecting uh, zero beers and 10 beers and five beers, I'm sorry, uh, zero beers and 10 pizzas and five beers and zero pizzas, now we have a PPF that has a curve to it. So let's see how that impacts the opportunity cost in terms of pizza production when increasing beer production by one unit. So if we increase beer production by one unit. If we follow that up to the production possibilities uh, frontier and across, we see that that yields 9.5 pizzas. So when we increase beer production by one unit, the opportunity cost in terms of pizza is half of a pizza, 0.5 pizzas. Going further, let's say Mo wants to increase beer production further from one beer to two beers. Let's see what how that impacts the production of pizza. So we go from one beer to two beers. We follow that up to the production possibilities frontier and across, and that yields 8.6 pizzas. So you can see here that we increased beer production by one unit, but now the opportunity cost of producing that second beer is equal to 0.9 pizzas. So the opportunity cost has increased from 0.5 pizzas to 0.9 pizzas when we go from zero beers to one beer and then from one beer to two beers. We can continue this again to further illustrate this. So we have Mo increasing beer production from two beers to three beers. We follow that to the production possibilities frontier and that yields 7.3 pizzas. So when we increase beer production by one unit, now pizza production is falling by 1.3 pizzas. So you can see as we continually increase beer production, the opportunity cost in terms of pizza is increasing from 0.5 to 0.9 to 1.3. So this is what is meant by increasing opportunity cost. The fact that as we increase beer production, it's costing more and more in terms of pizza that is foregone as we increase beer production by one unit. So as you see, the fundamental difference graphically between a production possibilities frontier that exhibits constant opportunity cost is that that production possibilities frontier is a straight line and a production possibilities frontier that exhibits increasing opportunity cost is a curve. And as I stated previously, the slope of the production possibilities frontier is the measure of the opportunity cost. And as I just illustrated, the slope of this line is changing depending upon where you are on this particular production possibilities frontier. So in closing, just make sure you're comfortable with this. As I said previously, uh, this is something that students either forget or get confused with, that the assumption about opportunity cost is what makes the shape of the production possibilities frontier. If you are asked for a production possibilities frontier that exhibits constant opportunity cost, it is a straight downward sloping line. If you're asked for a production possibilities frontier that exhibits increasing opportunity cost, it is a curved line. So make sure you're comfortable with that. Like I said, sometimes students forget this or get confused about this particular concept. So hopefully this helped you in understanding the difference between the assumption of increasing and constant opportunity cost and how that assumption impacts the shape of the production possibilities frontier.